basically my husband threatened to kill me in December I think 28 2021 or something around there and there was a no contact order put in place aka my husband could not talk to me so guys meet Dana Alatabi she was a very beautiful youtuber only fans model and adult entertainer now she was just 27 years old and she was married to her husband in the marines by the name of brian tejada castillo but now what you're seeing here was part of the last video that she posted many people believe that this is the video that got her self deleted by the husband now let me just talk about this um her and her husband was not we're not getting along okay um i'm not sure as to why but what happened while he was away in japan on deployment um dana continued making um certain videos on p hub you guys know what that stands for only fans and things like that and not only did the husband not appreciate it um the military didn't appreciate it okay and that part is what got her kicked out of the military so the base command said i can't record i was on base because it's part of government property now i know you don't believe me but let me just go ahead and play that small clip where she explains it and then we will come back you know what um I don't suggest any adult content person doing content, adult content on a military base housing. I don't recommend it, but also like how can they really prove that you did that in base housing? You know, you could say, oh, the walls are the same, the cabinets are the same, the tiles are the same, the bathroom are the same, but no, like there's not enough proof to tell you like we actually did it in the apartments like over there you know what i mean so like you can do it you can't get away with it but it's better not to do it i just prefer like not to like to advise other girls not to do it the marine base found out that i was doing stuff like this they were mad but they weren't like okay we're gonna kick you out the reason i got kicked off base is because in november 2021 i allegedly got in a fight with this girl and apparently i allegedly beat her up and i went to jail and the base command wrote me a letter like a couple months later saying hey you are dangerous to base and we gotta kick you out all right so you heard that she had some some issues there not only filming inside of the uh military base that she was at but also fighting okay and then there was a sergeant that even stopped her from communicating with the husband um and as there were the relationship was uh, coming towards the end the husband was trying to set up a divorce um and the sergeant had even told the husband not to contact her anymore um that still happened anyway um so i'm gonna play her discussing that and what the husband threatened to do to her and then we'll come back basically my husband threatened to me in december i think 28 2021 or something around there and there was a no contact order put in place aka my husband could not talk to me and um he did reach out to me and he got njp'd those are all factual like those are all real life events with consequences, you know? So now me and my husband are trying to get a divorce, but unlike most military couples, me and my husband, Brian Tajeda Castillo, have assets together, AKA things that we bought with money. And I'm not talking about $500, $1,000, $8,000, Fifteen thousand. No, we're talking about twenty four thousand dollars. So as you can see there, guys, there tends to be a strain between his um, boss. Right. She mentions him by name and also the husband and her. Now, again, they're already having discord in the relationship. 
Um, she's also reported uh, her spouse for being abusive to her in the past. But now, if you really want to know what I think was the straw that um, broke the camel's back, it's this particular clip here where she accuses um, the husband's boss, who's also in the military, and her husband of engaging in a LGBTQ style relationship. First Sergeant Kern, I am accusing First Sergeant Kern of being gay and having serious relationships with, not serious relationships, sexual relationships with my husband because the way First Sergeant Kern lies and is an accomplice with my husband, I have a really good feeling that they are, I mean, I don't want to put that out there, but I have a feeling that I've never experienced anything like this in my life where First Sergeant Kern feels the need so much to shield my husband, there has to be a love sexual relationship between them. And I have submitted a complaint to the Inspector General about that to do some investigation between my husband and First Sergeant Kern because I do think they are having something going on so guys that's kind of what's going on there um in the nutshell now as you can see she's an only fans model she's a rapper she's doing all of these things that bring in my opinion bad press to not only the husband and she's even using you know military benefits for the husband you know for the military she's still legally the the wife and they were trying to separate assets and stuff like that um but then after calling him you know, the, 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 the G A Y word that could have been the straw that broke the camel's back. My question is to Mr. Bryant to hate Castillo. Why did you marry a woman like this? Okay. Why? That's, that's the issue that we're dealing with here. Why we're not dealing with anything else, but that why would you deal with a woman like that? Obviously, this is not the kind of woman that you want to be dealing with. When you're away overseas, she's filming these kind of OnlyFans videos. Okay. You're, you're being embarrassed <clears throat> every day as she exposing the information about your marriage on YouTube. She's literally calling out your higher ups name, embarrassing him. Okay. You look like a complete fool. So of course you can't take it. And then, what happens to be um, a premeditated hit. This is what I want to talk about because she was um, deleted uh, and left on the highway in Honolulu, Hawaii. I want to tell guys something they need to know. This is very important. Men, especially those men in our community, in the black community, deal with women that you have some permanent interest with. You want to be in the military. You want to be a lawyer. You want to be a doctor. You want to be a businessman. I beseech you, listen to what I'm saying. It sounds like this is the scriptures, right? The Old Testament. I beseech you heavily to deal with women that you feel want the same things and desire the same things that you do. You want to be respected by people. If that means something to you, then don't date somebody who's going to make you look bad. Many times what I find men doing, and, and I've been guilty of this, we're really looking for what a woman does in the bedroom. Um, a lot of free spirit stuff, okay? And that's great. Um, sex is great, it's amazing. Uh, f having a freaky woman is, uh, is amazing. Here's the problem with that, man. They don't, they don't always make good relationships. Um, you need somebody that's stable, somebody that you're proud of, somebody that won't embarrass you, okay? And then what happens is so many times you see men trying to change ladies that, that don't want to change. Obviously, she don't she didn't have any as much respect to you. Okay? That's what it was. Same thing with the Miles Bridges. She don't respect you and you're upset. Stop being upset. The lady don't respect you. Shouldn't have married her. All right. Now you have all these people talking about violence against women, and they are right because you you could have avoided all of this by just not picking her. But no, you get in a situation, it's your fault. The lady should be living because you shouldn't have even married her. Obviously, she didn't want to be married to you, vice versa. Leave her alone. There you go. But sometimes we get ourselves situations where we make mistakes. Men, please learn from this. 
We don't need anybody being deleted out of emotional BS or making a mistake. Life is too short. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, before it remains an all-time high, I'm out.